welcome back to another minimalism series video. In today's video, as the title suggests, I'm going to be sharing what's in my bag. This is something that I've never filmed until now because I literally didn't use a handbag until like maybe four months ago. <laughs> If you haven't seen the minimalism series before, make sure you hit subscribe and check out that playlist. I cover heaps of topics when it comes to decluttering, keeping things organized and all of that sort of thing. And if you're not new to my channel, hey, welcome back. And yes, I saw your comments on my last video and I will do an updated wardrobe essentials for you guys. I used to be the kind of person who would just grab my wallet and like try and stuff my keys in there and grab my phone and just carry that around. Um, but I just decided that I wanted to get a bag because then I could put like an iPod in it or you know, headphones, just whatever and it could just hang there. I'll start off with the bag. It is a Karl Lagerfeld slouch bag. The reason that I got this is because of the shoulder strap. I don't like having to carry bags on my arms or like in my hands. I'd rather just like throw it over my shoulder. And I like this bag because it is unlined and there's no heavy structure to it other than the base of the bag to keep it upright. This means that it is really, really light. I'll try and link everything in the description box as well if you're interested in like where I got it from. It's also got gold detailing in both the stamped text and then there is a little swing tag on it as well which has the Karl Lagerfeld Paris address on it. And gold is the only real accent color I have. I don't use silver so that ruled out a lot of bags and I was just like, yep, I like this one. Okay, now I'm going to jump into the bag. So this bag, it's just like an empty, it's just like one compartment except there's a little pocket on the side. Um, in the pocket, I keep three things. Oh wait, four things. I've got a go card for like the trains in Brisbane and then a Mikey for the trams in Melbourne. My most frequented cities. And then I've got a USB stick. This is one like, cause I don't own, there's a hair in it. I don't own a printer, so if I do have to get something printed, I'll just chuck it on this and pretty sure the reason I keep it in here is so I don't lose it. And then I've got like house keys and that sort of thing as well, gym keys. I've also got a wallet which is by Status Anxiety. I do want to replace this one, but I'm just going to wait until I actually need to. Um, it's just because it's got like a faux fur on it and it's starting to drop out and it's just looking a little bit bold and kind of weird. But again, black and gold and that's just got my bank cards and like other like healthcare cards and all of that sort of thing in it. I'm not normally a cash person. I've got my phone as well, which is looking kind of dirty. iPhone 7 Plus which I had to buy a week before the 8 came out because I dropped my phone in the toilet again. It just falls out my jeans pockets. Like I forget it's in my back pocket and then you know how that works. Also in here, I always, always have this on me now since I bought it. It is a Tangle Teaser brush and I like that it actually has, so, so the bristles don't get all messed up. It's got this little base plate, which you can plug in. Now I have two things left in here. One of them is, or are, is AirPods. I think so. Um, I'm really enjoying these at the moment. I do sometimes forget to charge it. I'm still getting used to the fact that I have to charge my headphones up, but they're really good. I do use them when I'm training as well. The only exercise that they have fallen out in is skipping. Cause that's a question I seem to get asked a lot about the AirPods and yeah, they're fine for exercise. I'm pretty sure the actual earbud shape is different to normal headphones. And plus when you don't have the cord, uh, I found that I was like getting tangled in the cord, like, you know, going around doing things, whatever. And I would like accidentally bump the cord and then that's what would pull the headphone out, but not the problem with these. But if you have your hair down when you're wearing them, it looks like you're ignoring everybody. And the last thing that I have in here is a lip and cheek tint because I normally prefer to wear uh, just like a natural pinky shade on my lips and on my cheeks, of course. Uh, this is by Lila B and it's shaped like a little pebble and I think it's really cute and you just like push to open it. It looks quite red, but when you put it on, it's quite a natural blush shade on, on my skin tone anyway. Um, yeah, I really like it. And that's all that's in my bag. This feels like a funny video for me to make because I don't normally sit down and like talk about products and recommend things. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me. Uh, don't forget to check out the Minimalism Series playlist. If you haven't, there's heaps of stuff on decluttering and heaps of things for getting your life more organized. I hope you guys enjoy your day and I will catch you in my next upload. Bye.